Hi, this is Brennan Moriarty, and um, yeah, so I want to uh, talk about some uh, some fantastic science and poetry. Um, and I just thought I was recording, and I wasn't, so I hate it when that happens. I was out of range. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, um, and sometimes I'm out of sorts and in the wrong location, you know. The good room doesn't have internet, so sadly. Um, okay, so I want to say that I am like a really, really good person with the most incredible intentions that can possibly be, and to do science of this. I've been working on this for a long time, uh, maintaining my youth, I guess, and um, and that's 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 like an athletic. Um, and intellectual and um, cultural uh, reality. Okay, so um, uh, I'm looking at my notes, and in this room they don't make any sense. So go figure. So this this is what I'm trying to what I'm trying to um, make happen is um, here we go. Is uh, is uh, I need I just need um, boy it's just not working in this room but basically I need to um um to be I, I have very little needs I, I'm a better listener than I am a talker when I talk people don't really they they get more confused um and but when I listen you know even if someone is rambling on or the detective or something like that there still can be some truth there or you can realize okay this person is actually deranged you know because this can happen um just about anyone really uh, but if they've got something serious then you can listen to that and be enlightened towards te policy and technology reactions to to have a so uh, I'm gonna talk about my this this stuff that I'm writing. It's atomic for science and poetry, sort of artistically, atomically put together that I've been doing quite a while. And so um, be before I go into this a little bit, I just want to say that I somehow me a, a very good person very charming person just really really sort of intelligent and caring and charming and concerned i'm extremely concerned about humanity in the most the best the best possible way you know, keeping your distance or you know close um so what I, I need i have very little needs i have almost no needs except Guidance. That's not a need. That's a, a, a sort of a human, sort of um, basic human right, if you will, uh, for the basic human. You know, the basic, basic human. Um, if you know what I mean, and if you do, I don't need to. <laughs> no, but uh, that's, that's just. I'm just. You know, that's. Uh, silliness. So what I need is someone who can who can sort of give me some orders in a sense of it's psychiatry. And basically it's sort of situ um, uh, housing is what I need, really. Um, but it has to be sort of intellectually based so that I'm empathically inspired uh, because I, I have this great work to do okay so it's not just sociology but it's also engineering so I'm you know this both runs in my family and then you know like your your birth chart you know that, that's like the past the, the astrology you know it's kind of it's silliness you know but um 
you know, we live on a planet, so they say, some say, oh, the world is flat, you know, like this billiards table here. Um, but the, the, um, the world is, in fact, you know, we, we just have, we have to engineer stuff. And I've had this, okay, Henry Ford, that's kind of like, in the stars, they say. And it also runs in my family. I actually have manufacturing and invention, inventing in my paternal family, my actual, my name, Moriarty, yeah, three generations or four generations, whatever it is, invention and manufacture, just like Henry Ford. Okay, so that's what I want to do. I want to make the vehicle of the future that's going to be completely um, energy efficient to a maximum, but it's also going to be empathy efficient, human efficient, it's going to like regulate all these things, our, you know, our fuel, our, our intentions and sort of um it's just part of this grand picture this unified social theory that forms a part in the sort of stars if you will because it's just it's like these threads okay the five points of humanity i'm, I'm squatting on my knees so i'll go um uh <laughs> you guys crack me up Okay, I saw that with the camera. So anyways, uh, beautiful art in this room. Not really. Okay, so, nice place. So, absolutely. I went to Christchurch yesterday and Carfax Tower. And we stood on the top of that tower and I felt like, well, I felt like the rails were a little low, actually. <laughs> Winston Churchill up there. <laughs> no, I had to squat down the so I was on the rail. <laughs> but, um... <clears throat> Uh, walking around, and it makes me kind of crazy to drink too much coffee and walk around forever. Um, just, it pains me a bit. Um, but that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to save the world through both policy and technology that are utterly impa empathic and purely scientific. It's this 1% of science, so the world is, is mostly nature. Okay, so think of the world as a spectrum. Like it fills the whole screen, and it's all like you know nature, and then it kind of gets into engineering. And oh, well, I'm not like looking at the screen here, but imagine you know the screen's right down the middle, if you will, something like that. Here we go. Um, that's, you have to you have to have the imagination. Think of it as just audio, where that one percent is a beam of light coming from a star that is coming down to a point that you can quantify and say, okay, that 1% of the line or the point on the line and the plane, that's the pure science. That is the most fundamental reality that there can possibly be. And it's just, it's something that I shall bring to the world. Okay. However, you know, you know, looking over my shoulder, you can tell, um, I'm constantly paranoid by, you know, just, just spent over exploring, or like, tortured, if you will, um, by growing up on the, la on California, it's, you know, and there's all, um, cognitive dissonances, is slap in the face, people are always gonna say, oh, well, I'm that way, too. And it's like, no, you're not, okay? I'm, like, extremely intelligent, and I see this stuff, and I just have to put up with it. And it's like the torture that I've gone through that's made me the one. The one, okay? And so I have no needs except for guidance. I need a flat. I need, to, I need someone to have a doctor um, um, blind, blinding. Blinding light, okay, right in, the, right in the light. That's what the doctor is to me, um, and not psychiatric. It's just pain, okay. So I'm not, <laughs> no, and I'm not doing, not even drinking anymore. You know, right? Tobacco is, yo, know, but um, even caffeine, <sighs> I have to maintain, not walk my feet into bloody stumps, okay, <laughs> or shin splints, you know. Um, but, uh, but so, I'm in the epicenter of the world right now, um, 
try and hold on for a while now. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on. Uh, but what I, the, the ultimate plan, the, the sort of functional plan of dynamic function, is for me to have some place that I can come to that is dynamic. Okay, that is really, you know, that I'm not looking over my shoulder. That I have a real private place. That I'm not, you know, dominating this place. But I have access to it. And big desk space with a lot of light. You know, a little bit of good private lighting so that I really have this ability to think and talk loud with, um, and still be able to be wherever, you know, by, you know, 10 minute bicycle ride into town. That's, that's fine. But the idea is that I'm only here for a little bit and then I go off to, um, somewhere on a bus, you know, basically, um, I, I'm in the ancient academic center of the world right now. That's why. Maybe I'm looking good. I like the shirt and tie, don't you? Or the shirt and jacket. So, um, I want to sparkle, but I want to do it safely. I cannot stand on the street and sort of, you know, go um, nuts and stuff like that. And so, um, uh, what I have to do is so if I get to some kind of place, then I will go off and come back. And that's that's the idea. That's that's sort of the dynamic function. Because then you have these visions, and I'm like this in, intense, intensely concerned person, just and dynamic. Okay, so oh, so let me let me read you some of this. My oh, mind squatting again. Okay, so uh, cultural. Cultural empathy and geographic psychopathic normative ignorance via unregulated, i.e. psychotic, manifest destiny. Geographic empathy and general empatheticness. Pathetic policy of pathological perfection. Okay, that's, that's how. That, that might take a second to sink in. I'll, I'll probably type that up and, um... But, you know, we're talking about reason and empathy or freedom versus on the paradigm of cultures that I've been listening to, um, angels and <clears throat> music, I'm <laughs> blending words, I don't want to say anything, you know, I don't want to sound psychotic, like, what year, it's a new year, right, don't, don't say, don't tell me what year it is, because I don't want to know. <laughs> um, uh, uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, and so, you know, good clothing, it's good, but it's like the threads of humanity is, it's that grandest, grandest thing. Um, okay, so, um, oh yeah, so I just, I wrote down my little, my demands. My demands are small, private, flat, slash apartment with private, well-lit, Long desk space and lit shelving. Internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the internet was... Um, for a good person. Um, so... That's... That's what I'm kind of looking for, and... I'm gonna hold off, you know, hold out. I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna dive in. Yeah, no, no off. In. Uh, and... Um... So, I'm going to, um, respect this all I have, you know, um, I have no needs in that sense, but, um, um, and so I, I just, that's what I need to find, and for me to deliver, and to have, like, a base, travel around, and, um, I, I just, um, just a really, really intensely bright and purposeful person, okay? So it's, um, I don't know, I, picking clothes or picking food for me is very difficult. Uh, changing the channel on TV, well, I can do that like a dream, okay? But, um, and so that's why I'm trying to do the, the writing in that same spectrum and quantifying that 1% that comes down just with perfect, with imperfect, 
empathic perfection. And so I don't know if the audio is very good, but you have to turn it up. Thank you. And um, we're not mm, probably going back to the. Um, well, I've got my own little room for a couple of days. Uh, one more day, I think. And then, um, I don't know, I, I like just find some place and then go off to Ireland and, um, or Germany. And there's, I just can't go to America because it's inaccessible without major reservations. <sighs> okay.